Okay. Okay na tayo sa supports. Lagay na natin ang ating pinned and uh, yung support ng considering sagrads. Next is load and definition. Okay. So, doon tayo sa ating uh, Excel program. Na uh, initially, nalagyan ko na to. Okay. Four story school building, Pasig City, and CR. So, school building is an essential facility. Then, check. Yeah. So, public school buildings, essential facility. Okay. Essential, essential facility yung building category, level 4. Length ng building natin ay 55. Okay. Ayan. And width niyan is 9.5 meters. So 9.5 and 55. Yeah. Okay. And then yung footing depth, 2 meters tayo. Uh, ground floor height 3.15 and typical yan. Okay. Then sa wind category, since urban area to, B tayo. Okay. So kung check natin yung table, yun. Okay. So for surface roughness, B, urban areas yan. Kung saan maraming mga obstructions. So yan. So ang C is open terrain. Uh, medyo scattered yung obstructions, malalayo, and D, yung flat siya na walang obstruction. Okay? So, yung area natin fits roughness B. Okay? So, B tayo dyan. And then, yung bubong natin na design ng ating roof is, yan. It's a pitch, pitch roof. Okay? So, pitch roof tayo dyan. Rise ng ating uh, truss. Okay? Check natin sa plan. Yun. So, rise nyan is sa mga 3.15. Okay. Tapos yung width nyan is half nung. Ah, yung run nyan is half nung width ng building. Which is 4.75. And then, of course, wala tayong overhang. Kasi nga, yung overhang natin is the concrete gutter. Okay, so wala tayong overhang, zero yan. Roof material is uh, corrugated. So corrugated is 0.1 kPa. So ito nalagay natin, 0.1 kPa. Double it. Yan. Okay, 0.1 kPa. Yan. And then naglagay ako ng insulation, 25 mm thick. Clear span outing purlin, 5 meter yung ginamit ko. Dalawa yun. 5 meter and 4.5. So, ito yun. So, yan. So, yung 5 na yung ginamit natin. And then, spacing, 800 mm. Yan. Okay. So, once na-input na yan, ito na yung values ng ating load. So, check natin. Yan. Okay, so dito sa start, click load cases, click add, dead load tayo una, DL, and then roof live load, okay, so nasa roof tayo, RLL, and then wind, in load, windward yan, and leeward, yun. Then DL, click add. Lagyan natin yung DL natin. So, combine na natin to since pareho silang kilonewton per meter and both are acting sa top cord. Yung, as, yung uh, roofing material and yung insulation. So, 0.1. Okay? Negative 0.1 kPa. Ah, okay. Self-weight muna tayo. Y, add. Okay, kita natin doon. Add na yan. Then, go to member load. Negative 0 0.1 kPa. Okay, global Y yan since gravity load. Then, roof live load natin is sa member load also. Then, yun. 
So negative 0.48. Negative 0 0.48. Uh, global Y pa din yan. Yun. And then so wind load. Okay. So again, didesign natin yung zone 1 and zone 2. So titignan natin ulit yung zone 1 and zone 2 sa ating roof diagram yun, so ito yung type ng roof natin the gable roof okay, so yung poorly na nandito yung i-design natin which uh, nandun siya, nag-fall sa zone 1 and zone 2 okay? so yung zone 1 yung nasa gitna na portion or area and then zone 2 yung nasa end tapos yung uh, extend or yung uh, sukat ng zone 2 natin is A. So, ano yung A na yan? Nandito yan. Auto-generated na yan sa program. Ito. <clears throat> so, A dependent yan sa ating rise run and sa iba pang factors. Okay? So, dito ang A is 0.95 meters. Okay? E yun. Okay. So, so, windward zone 1 and zone 2 so tayo zone 1 and zone 2 yan so same lang yan 1.65 so member load yan okay, ulit downward yan 1.65 and then local okay local kasi nag a dun sa along sa y sa local y axis nung member okay, negative 1.65 add boom and yan wind load 2 Again, also a member load. Ayan. So, leeward yan. 1.7 and 2.02. So, 1.7 positive. Yan yung sa may zone 1 and 2.02. Yan yung sa may zone 2. Ayan. Okay na. Okay naman na. Self-weight. Dead load. Roof and... Uh, Isolation, roof live load, windward, windward. Okay. Next, assign. Okay. Meron question mark yan. So, meaning, an assign pa yan. So, click, assign natin yan. Click. Assign to view. Assign. Yan. So, pag may pula na yan and wala ng question mark, assign na. And then, ito, assign to view din. Okay. Gawin natin yung scale para makita. Okay, and then roof live load. Sign to view pa din yan. Okay. Load, uh, sign to view pa din. Oop. Upward. Bakit upward siya? Hmm. Okay. So, ang nangyari dito... Since yung beta angle natin is nirotate natin ng 213 degrees. So, more than 180. Ang nangyari, yung local axis ng ating member. Okay, tama. Yung local, local axis ng ating member. Yan. Nabalik ta din. So, meaning, yung member natin. Yan. Ito yung Y niyan. Ito yung y axis dito yung positive y pa downward and the negative pa upward na balik siya dahil ni rotate natin okay so mayare i reverse lang natin na lang, na lang yung sign ng ating wind loads so ito yung bis na negative gawin natin positive and then ito gawin natin negative Uh -huh. yun yun, okay downward na siya and then ito, again zone 1 to siya, so dito natin yan i-apply, take note na yung distance A ng ating zone 2 is 0.95 so pag titig i-measure natin tong edge uh, end nodes 1.67 yan. And then dito rin, 1.67. So, pwedeng 1.67 na yung zone 2 natin. So, itong zone 1 dito natin i-apply yan sa... Yan. 
Okay. Assign to selected. Click assign. Yes. Yeah. Then itong zone 2 dito yan sa head ends. Yeah. Yun. And then to check, tignan natin sa side view. Yan. So kung titignan natin sa side view, dead load. Okay. Downward yan. Global Y. Wind low. Uh, roof live load. Downward also. Global Y. Windward, yun. Downward, pero dun siya sa local Y nung ating member. Leeward. <coughs> Ayan. Uh, upward, pero dun siya sa along local Y nating member. And also, ito. Ayun. So, okay na tayo sa low. Sa low cases, next naman is load combinations. Okay? So, sa load combo, meron na akong in-input dito na mga load combinations. Pag wala pa, pwede ka dito sa define. Then, click mo lang to kung ano kung involve yung dead load, live load, and wind load. Yan. Then, input ka ng mga factors. So, usually, uh, 1.2 dead, uh, 0.5 RLL, and 1 wind. Okay? So, since meron na akong load combo na naka-plug in, dito na ako sa auto. Then, meron na akong code. Yun, 2015 code. Okay. Sa roofing to, so dito ako sa ultimate roof. Yan. Okay. Ultimate roof. Kasi itong ultimate na tong isa, itong ultimate roof, ang live load dyan is roof live load. Okay. Itong isang ultimate, ang live load dyan is yung Floor live load. Building. Okay. So, dito tayo sa roof live load. Click generate. Ayan na. <coughs> Ayan. Ultimate ang gagamitin. Ayan na yun. So, 1.4 dead. Isang combo. First combo. Second, 1.2 dead and 0.5 roof live load. Next is 1.2 dead, 1.6 LL and 0.5 wind. Ayan. And dalawa yung wind na yan. Windward and leeward. And the next combo is 1.2, 0.5, and 1. Okay. The next is 0.9 dead and 1 wind. Click add. Yeah, generate na siya doon. And then, serviceability check. Para sa deflection ng ating purlin. Dito tayo sa service roof. Okay. Click generate. Yeah. Again, Kaiba nung service dito and service roof. Sa roof is using roof live load. Then dito is yung floor live load time. Okay. So usually naman, ito naman gagamitin natin dyan. One dead and one L. Click add mo lang. Then go. Actually tanggalin na lang natin tong dalawang roof live load. Okay, ito lang gamitin natin. One dead load and one live load. Service. Iyon. Okay na tayo sa mga load cases and load combinations. Uh -huh. Next natin dito is analysis and design. Okay. 